Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment, and you're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today I want to go over an in depth detail of the Valmar 56 series. Uh, the 56 series comes in two different sizes the 6056, which is 60 cubic feet, and the 4056, which is 40 cubic feet. Uh, to relate that to pounds, at 45 pound density, this is just shy of 3,000 and the 4056 would be around that 1800 pound capacity. Um, these cedars used to be steel and they used to be a 55 series. Today they make them poly box with a stainless steel meter. I wanna go over the components of these. I'll pull out the rollers. I wanna talk about the uh, gallon per minute requirements of the fan and the hydraulic motor and the different drive options uh, that you can have and also part of the calibration process. So we're going to go ahead and, and dig into this cedar and walk you through what it's capable of. Okay, so this flap right here is just a, a debris guard for when you're running. That way you don't suck air into there. The way this unit works is there's the hydraulic fan on the back and that blows air up through here and through these Venturi cups and it takes the seed out the back. This, these cups are laid out across here and this meter spins uh, spitting seed out and letting it fall into these cups. For the calibration process, you would simply pull this down and put your calibration tray up in here to catch the seed before it gets to the cups. You can see we have the gray roller in there. These rollers are, are held on with these simple bearing clips on each end. The roller can simply roll right out of its chamber. Uh, this is our higher output roller. It's the one we use on all cover crops and wheat and larger seeds. Uh, it's the one that, that comes standard with every 56 series that comes from Fennec equipment. You can see that these metering systems are stainless steel. We're getting to use a lot of these boxes today for dry fertilizer. Uh, in fact, Bex is doing a lot of studies with dry fertilizer using this hopper. So if you're looking to lay down bands of dry on a strip till rig or something like that, these would work great to do so, uh, and then also double as your cover crop seed. So this is an overview of the metering unit. There's two meters. Uh, you have options on this box of 24 outlets or 32. And then on the small 4056, you have options of just 16 outlets. So they, have, they offer a wide variety of things uh, to get you where you need to go. Uh, we also have stainless chains all the way through. So it's a pretty long lasting, durable box that's built to handle even dry fertilizer. You've got a, a shut off gate right here that allows you to shut off seed to the roller. And that does a good job of of not allowing seed to come through when you need to remove your roller. So we'll go to the back and talk about hydraulic controls and our ISO functions. Oh. Okay, so this is the back side of the Valmar Cedar. Um, this is kind of where the guts of the machine are. You can see we've got our, uh, our motor here. This is the, the fan that basically provides the air. It's a belt driven fan, so it is powered by a hydraulic motor. Uh, this motor calls for roughly 8 to 10 gallon a minute, and that drives the fan. Uh, we're going to run this fan somewhere in that uh, three to 4,000 RPM range uh, to get enough airflow to provide to carry that seed throughout. So this arm is designed to basically swing open. When we do that, you can see the guts of the fan and, and all that, so this belt's easily replaceable if you need to do so. Um, right here is your shaft speed sensor uh, for the fan itself. Um, as we look down in here, you can see a lot of components go into the back side of this, this cedar. And this particular cedar is hydraulically driven through our Mueller rate controller, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But what we have here are the electric clutches. These clutches control each meter. There's two of them, so you have section control, left and right control. If you have uh, section control on your 2630, you can do auto swath with these cedars through the ISO. So right here is our meter drive. This hydraulic motor drives this shaft. 
which turns based on the electric clutch, whether it's on or off. Um, if you look down here, you can see the back side of the cups that I showed you up front. You basically just hook your hose onto each cup, run it out the back, and then that hose gets distributed throughout either your toolbar or your tillage tool uh, to get your appropriate spacing to get a good spread pattern on your, on your seed or your fertilizer. If you look in over here, um, this is our Mueller ISO rate controller. So if you have a 2630 Pro 700, uh, some ag leaders and some other screens, we can plug this box in ISO to the back of your tractor and it'll pop up in the virtual terminal as its own dedicated rate controller. What that gets you is uh, changes of rates on the fly. It'll tell you your target rate, your actual rate, your fan speed, your meter speed, um, and also has a really nice calibration wizard for calibrating this seeder. Your other option for drives is ground drip, and we can simply run a, a spring-loaded ground drive tire, which we've done that for years and have had really good success with it, or we can go hydraulic, just like this one is set up right here. If you don't want to go ISO option, we can also go John Deere dry rate and several other rate controllers as well. We're doing today a quick overview of the Polytank stainless meter 56 series Valmar seeders. Thanks for tuning in.